So the Heartbreak King has pissed off Queen Candice, and she seems to think that her knight Edge is going to win the WWE title at Cyber Sunday. Yeah, that's about as likely to happen as Roman Reigns leaving WrestleMania 40 as the undisputed Universal WWE Champion. Now with that undisputed fact out of the way, it's time for the medics again. Look, Shawn Michaels is the WWE Champion. Y'all need to relax. It's not even that bad. I think someone on the medical staff just want to get with Sean, but don't have the courage to ask him. Mm-hmm. I know that trick all too well. So you thought that was a joke last week, huh? Well, this week on Raw, I'll show you who's the joke, and I guarantee you won't be laughing when it's over. Actually, I guarantee you we will be laughing, and we will be doing it with your ex-girlfriend. Now for the queen. This hoe gonna make me re- I mean, ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not mean that. <laughs> Look, lady, I don't give a damn who we face. It doesn't matter one way or another. But I would like to wrestle Triple H, because, you know, he'd be someone new to fight. But still, we're going to win. Oh, my goodness. We're going to fight Nitro with Mickey in our corner and Triple H in his. Uh-oh, we're getting one step closer to fighting the Cerebral Assassin. I can't wait. We're less than three weeks away from Cyber. Sunday. Don't shake it. Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler at ringside. Good. And the champion really riled up his number one contender last week. And that's just about the... It's the game. What's up, Paul? Well, it doesn't seem nah, get out of here with that. You're on the wrong side, bro. What about DX? Ain't even gonna give Johnny Nitro the time of day. Although, I sure as hell would. He's one of the most dangerous superstars on the Raw roster. What do you mean dangerous, JR? On the champ. And look who he's got with him. Things are going from bad to worse for the champ. How do you figure? The only thing bad that's happened is that Johnny Nitro's getting his ass stomped on a lot more. Which is fitting for him because, you know, he's always face down with another man beating his ass. It's just that this time his ex-girlfriend gets to watch closely. And here comes the champion for this non-title match. He's looking good. As always. JR, I can't believe you'd mention how good the champ looks. And completely ignore that gorgeous piece of eye candy at his side. Where? Well, that is some gorgeous eye candy. I ain't gonna lie about that. And Mickey James looks good, too, if you're talking about her. Anyways, let's get Sean down to that ring. He's got a young man to stretch. Again. You know, you think this guy would get tired of losing to the champ, but no. He's the perfect doormat. He wants to get stomped on over and over and over again. And Sean is gonna do it one more time. Now, here we go. Sean with a Famouser, a rocker dropper starting things off. The Heartbreak King starting off big like he always does. And uh, you might want to put those feet down, young man, because the only one around here allowed to use feet is Sean. Now take that sleeper slam. Oh, he's perfectly set up for one of Sean's favorites. Yeah. Already with a finisher. What do we see? Damn it, he reversed it. These disrespectful kids. Over here thinking they can do anything they want to. Sean's gonna show your ass. Just uh, w wait till after this. Ah. All right, Sean. Now ain't the time to look pathetic. Your queen is on the outside, and so too is your former DX buddy. There you go. Assert your dominance all over this pretty boy and make him bow before the king. Johnny Nitro fights back a little bit, but it doesn't matter because here comes Sean's three lariats. This move will put some hair on your chest, boy. And there's the final one. All right, Sean. Now you got to get that finish. But it's going to be a little tough with this man fighting back. Draw from the power you used to take his girl from him. Oh, no. Sean can't draw from it. Instead, he goes into the turnbuckle. And Johnny Nitro is doing nothing as usual. These men don't like to follow up. But Sean is going to make sure he follows up. This damn piece of trash over here got so much baby oil on him. He slips right off us. But Sean has got a little bit on him, too. And down goes Nitro. All right, Sean. It's time. Drag him to the center if you have to. This man's been itching to have a taste of your musically inclined feet. And here we go. Sean throwing ass on the referee in front of his queen, Mickey. All while tuning up the band. And there it is. He clocks him right in the jaw. Now, ref, in this match. Thank you very much. Hell yeah, it always feels good to beat this man's ass. What the hell? No. 
No. Ah. Stop it. Sean's got him. He's the WWE champ for a reason. Oh no. Look out. Behind you. Oh. Shut up, King. It's the Jezebel. No. Right. Because he's a loser and a thief. These damn idiots stole the WWE title right from under Sean's nose. And Mickey just stood there and did nothing about it. What a queen you are. Now you got me wondering if in fact Johnny broke up with your ass. Because you don't do shit when your man is getting jacked. Alright, hold on, hold on, calm down. Let me not turn on Mickey. She, I mean, you know, I could turn her on. No, 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 let me not turn on her because, you know, she's, she's good and all. I don't want to change that. Don't y'all worry, though. Sean's going to get that title back one way or another. Whether that means he goes through Edge, Triple H, Carlito, or even Candice. And I would love for him to go through Queen Candice. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm so sorry about what happened to your championship belt. I mean, that never would have happened if I was at ringside with you last week. And that's exactly where I'm going to be this week. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Uh, Mickey, you were there. Did you get pushed in front of a train or something? Are you okay? Oh, uh, now for more story time with a coach. Okay, never mind. Ain't no story to tell here. He's just letting us know that we're at the top of the Power 25. Not what you want. I'm sure you're feeling better now that you don't have to lug that championship belt around with you, but I imagine being without it has made you a little lonely. If you were to select an opponent to keep you company, whom would it be? First of all, lady, I ain't feeling good because we ain't got our title. Secondly, Sean ain't lonely because he's got Nitro's girl. And thirdly, I've been saying I want to fight Triple H for a while now and you just ain't give them to me. Finally, she heard us. We're going to be fighting the game. It's not like I miss him or anything. I just want to fight somebody different. We've got less than two weeks to go until Cyber Sunday. Damn right we do, Jim. And the king at ringside, and our champion is in a foul mood tonight, folks. He don't look like it to me. He lost the championship belt last week. Oh, you go with him, too. The belt, king. Huh. It was stolen from him. Well, if he wants anyone to respect him as the champion, he'd better get it back pronto. All four of these guys are his enemies, and he seems to be cool with them. Although, if Sean's history has told us anything, it's never a good idea for him to pick a fight with multiple guys at once. Maybe this was a good idea after all. Now let's get this going. And here come the two superstars who helped the number one contender steal the championship belt last week. They're nothing but damn criminals. Now, King, did somebody just teach you the word pronto and you just got to say it after everything now? Well, despite that, let's have a little look at Triple H's entrance real quick. Oh, you know what? This would be a good idea and I hope to see it. If, in fact, Triple H is just playing around with these guys and he joins up with Sean and beats their asses, that would make this storyline 10 times better. Then we can reform DX with Mickey. He was. But it doesn't seem like his vote was taken into account. No, it really wasn't. Cyber Sunday, a true champion will take on anyone at any time. Well, that's exactly what he's going to be doing. He's going to be taking on a guy that outweighs him by 50 pounds. And he's going to beat his ass. All right, here we go. Hey, bestie, uh, I got to tell you about your wife real quick. You would not believe what she did. This lady tried to marry us. So you know what we did? We left her bitch ass standing at the altar. Because, you know, that's what best friends do. But I guess he doesn't care as they start to fight. There you go. You can't get punked out in front of your girl. Here we go, Sean. Float over into a neck breaker. That's what it looks like when the best of all time delivers a neck breaker. And of course, he drops a knee on him. Now, good old JR said that Cyber Sunday is two weeks away. And I think we got to fight Edge. But maybe after this match, that might change. Hopefully it changes to Triple H, because as you know, we already beat Edge like multiple times already. The game going to work on Sean's leg. He's called the Cerebral Assassin for a reason. He likes to pick you apart and work you. But right now that doesn't mean a damn thing to HBK. Now he's working over the game and maybe taking his frustrations over having his title stolen out on him. And now Sean's got a finisher. 
And the Heartbreak King is looking for sweet chip. Oh, damn it. The game knows him too well. But Sean is not going to let that stop him. All right, here we go again. Triple H with a reversal. But seeing as Sean isn't Johnny Nitro, he's not just going to stand there and let another man take advantage of him. Now with that said, HBK, knock his head off. Sean with the McFlurry. Now eat it. And it looks like he likes it. And down he goes. <laughs> you like that? That's what I'm calling it. That three punch setup, that's his McFlurry. <laughs> down the game goes with a complete shot or a self rock bottom. You pick. Sean's gonna pick the way he ends this match. And down the game goes to a pedigree. What a humiliating way to lose a match. But will the game lose? Will he? And damn it, yes he does. Now will someone give Sean back his WWE title? Where's the belt? Hello? Where is it? Fuck you right in the ass. Oh, that's damn true. Respect he's gonna get from the locker room. King, how many times do we gotta dance this dance? I don't give a damn about respect. I want my title and I will go through anybody to get it. Now somebody go get Queen Candace so the Heartbreak King can give her some sweet chin music.